Hi everybody, welcome back to Bobby's Bucks. And today I wanted to talk about retrieving your deer. You know, I just did a video on uh, getting started with deer hunting. And one thing I didn't mention was g getting a hunting buddy. You know, a hunting buddy, bouncing ideas off a buddy um, is awesome. You're gonna kill more deer, but you know, having a friend help you get the deer out of the woods is just, I mean, a night and day difference from trying to do it yourself. Dragging dead weight is a total nightmare. My father-in-law, he goes out to Wyoming, Colorado. He hunts the mountains with his buddies every year. Uh, they usually pick a different state every year and uh, they drag up and down the mountain. They'll go up three feet and then they'll slide back down four feet. And they'll drag up to six, seven, eight hours sometimes. You really need a, a deer cart. And I have, I've purchased several of them. I have two of them, and uh, but I have a favorite. And if you stick with me till the end of the video, we'll talk all about deer carts. Here we go. So before I show you my absolute favorite deer cart, I wanted to show you how we get our deer out in the winter time. You know, you guys don't have to buy one of those cargo sleds that you see that's about three feet, four feet wide. You know, those are really for taking your cargo out to say your, your shanty or for ice fishing or maybe packing out a bunch of tree stands or that sort of thing. I actually prefer this smaller sled in the winter time because in most cases, more times than not, you're trying to get your deer out of really tight spaces and there's lots of saplings and, and limbs. And I mean, sometimes it's so thick in there you have to actually clear or bend the trees back just to get the sled through. So that big sled really isn't ideal for, for hunting thick Michigan forests. So that sled, once you tie the hoofs up through the antlers and you'll, you'll get the hind legs out of the way, that way you're not getting caught on every branch that you go by, you can really get them out of the woods very quickly with a nice sled like this. And I'll link this down below. This is a little bit thicker plastic. It's thicker than your, your regular uh, snow sled. This is specifically for hauling deer out. And when you're sliding a deer, even a, even a 200 pound deer on snow, you can still drag it on a sled with one hand. Uh, it depends on how steep that hill is, but um, it's, it's so nice. I know, you know, it's not just following a blood trail in the snow that I love. I know that I'm, I'm gonna be able to get the deer out of the woods really easy when there's snow on the ground. These are some pull tight straps I just added because when you're trying to get your deer out of the woods, I mean, you're fighting brush and limbs and, and it helps to have the legs tied up. So you can pull this tight and you can wear this these are backpack straps. You can wear it right out. The problem with this cart though, is that the body gets stuck and rubs on these tires. There's no barrier. And that's what's nice about that cart. And that's why I rank that cart number two is because it's just, it rolls better. So when it comes to dragging your deer out, even if it's one of your lesser deer carts, it's gonna be way better than trying to to handle all that by yourself. This is called a Kill Shot 500 pounds. Um, it's a pretty good cart. Uh, we've only used it one time. Uh, we have another cart that we use too, but what's nice about this cart is that these bars keep the deer, the body off the wheels. Um, you know, this has a 500 pound, it's not just a clever name, it has a 500 pound capacity and it's super light and it will actually fold right up and uh, you have straps that it makes it easy storage and um, but like like I said I mean there's nothing to this this cart and when you but the one thing about this uh, we noticed that you have to switch the handle around you can't um, in the picture the handle goes this way but carrying the deer like this it's there's really no the center of gravity is lacking so we switch the handle around and it's much easier to balance the deer like this um, so this would probably be my second favorite choice out of deer carts and and when you get to your truck what you do is you walk up to it you put this on the tailgate and you 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 leverage the weight and that's how you lift up I don't want to take my deer out I'll push this deer right over but you basically just lift right up on the tailgate and push your deer in and that's how you get your deer in your truck but of course the other way is the muscle, the, the antlers, the two hind quarters and lift it up like that and that takes a lot of strength. 
So guys, this is absolutely hands down the best deer cart I've ever used. Um, I, it's, it's pretty new, I've only used it a couple times. I've been hunting over 20 years and I mean, I used to pull my deer out using uh, my own system I rigged up using a bicycle and trailer B. And I tried so many different methods and this was the first deer cart where I could actually pull the deer out with one hand. And you know, I've tried so many and it, the one thing they all had in common was they all required some serious muscles still to get them up and over the logs. But one really cool thing about this, this cart is it's got a, a uh, terrain system where it'll actually go over logs and it's made for the woods getting, getting uh, deer up and over obstacles. This thing, not to mention, the, it'll just, the capacity, when it says it's, it's capable up to 500 pounds, it means 500 pounds. So unfortunately, those deer carts always give you this load capacity, weight capacity, and it, it never seems to be accurate. It always seems to, to be like a number they're trying to hit. And this is the first cart where I can actually say that it's legit. It will, it'll legitimately hold a couple deer and you can wheel them out. What's nice about this cart is it will take the deer and it will keep them away from the wheels. It'll also adjust, you know, it folds up. You know, we already talked about how it's nice and balanced. The suspension is perfectly balanced. Whereas some of those carts, the, it, it rolls out like this and all the weight just doesn't seem to be on the axle like it should be. Where, where this with the deer um, loading with the head up here or you can even flip it around, it always seems to be much easier where you can, like I said, pull it with one hand. And you know, I'm a, I'm a littler guy so um, I don't really have the ability to, to just get the deer out, especially if there's a lot of hills. I always have to recruit my two sons, one of my two sons, uh, to help me get the deer out. Usually because we're, we're hunting, I'll sit there and wait for a mature deer. So usually we're talking about, you know, 175 to maybe a 200 pound deer uh, in Michigan. So unless you shot your deer close to the road or on flat land, you absolutely need a hunting buddy to help you get that deer out. You know, and if a lot of times you just don't have that guy if somebody's not available, depending on if you're hunting alone or if you're going solo. And uh, so this, something like this is what everybody, every serious hunter needs. And there's a lot of deer carts out there that they just flat out lie about what they can do. And, and this, uh, this deer cart is legit. And I'll link this down below. Um, it, it's the best cart I've ever owned. I may never buy another one. Uh, these, these tires, I mean, there's not a lot of deer carts that come with four tires. So that's what really helps uh, keep everything balanced on this cart. These go up to 25 pounds. When they arrive, they're gonna be a little deflated. So you're gonna, you're gonna have to pump them up. But uh, you know, the, the assembly was really quick. And all I have to do is just loosen this back up. This folds forward right on top of this. And you can store it away underneath the cupboard just like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you guys. I'll link all this stuff below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.